Alright, so I'm going to be in this tutorial showing you how to use a USB thumb drive as uh, as extra memory on your computer in Vista and XP I'm going to show you. And this can be very useful if your computer is running slow, like XP over time it gets slow, Vista is always requiring more memory and such. This is just an extra way to help boost your system up. Alright, so I'm going to insert my uh, my USB here. This is for uh, Vista, by the way, if you haven't noticed. And I have loaded up a control panel. So this is clip the control panel, and I have this is the regular view. You're going to click the classic view up here. You're going to come down to system. You're going to double click on that. And uh, next is you're going to click here, this advanced system settings. You're going to click that. Alright, so you've selected the advanced system settings. The next part is you are going to go under the advanced tab here, which is default, and you're going to click uh, under performance here, and you're going to click settings. So do that. So you've selected the settings and now you're in the performance options. You're going to now click the advanced tab up here. And as you see down here under virtual memory, this is where we are going to change the settings and dedicate the USB to be allowed using the virtual memory. So you're going to click change. Now under default here, the, the automatically manage paging file size for all drives will be default selected. So in order to change any of these settings, in order to change the USB here, we have to select that, unselect it. So we're going to unselect it. Now as you can see these are my hard drives, couple hard drives, and this is my USB. I've already dedicated this, but in default this would be blank. So you need to do something. You need to enter something. Well, now there's two options you have here. You can either let the system manage the size or you can customize the size yourself. Um, because I am using this USB for other things, I'm going to dedicate 300 megabytes to the to the USB that can be used for virtual memory. But you can also let the system manage it if you're just not using it at all. So then you click Set. You're going to click OK. You get prompted with a message saying that you need to restart your computer, and you're done. That is, this is the tutorial on how do you do it in Windows Vista. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to do the same thing using the USB to add more virtual memory to your computer in XP this time. It's basically the, almost the same thing, just a few different steps. It's If you can do it in Vista, you pretty much can do it in XP, but I'll show you anyway. So uh, you've opened up Control Panel, Start Control Panel the basic way. And uh, now you're going to go over here where it says Classic View. You're going to click that. And uh, you're going to scroll down, go to System. You're going to click, and now you're going to click on System. Okay, so now you're under the System Properties, and what you're going to do next is you're going to click on the Advanced tab, which I have, and as you can see, it's almost the same layout as what Vista looked like. So you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to go to performance here and you're going to click on the settings. So we have clicked the performance and we've gone to settings. And here are our performance options. So uh, next we are going to go up here. We're going to click the advanced tab. And as you can see, sort of just like Vista, we have the virtual memory. And we are going to click change. And just the exact same thing. But this time there's no default settings here. Here but you can still select your USB. You can let the system manage the size or you can customize it. I've already customized the size for a hundred megabytes. So I've done that and then just then once you've picked your settings and you if you customize it you put in your megabytes or you want it to, the system to manage it, you're gonna click uh, set and then you're going to click OK and you just uh, restart your computer and you've uh, finished and uh, this that's the tutorial on how to use your USB as more memory for your computer for any more uh, 
information on computers, gaming, music, movies, visit our website, uh, techunfolding.com.